This video is for EBD specimen collection to primary nurse process on JK3 and PICU. A trained monitor will be monitoring to ensure the EBD specimen collection process is followed. Primary nurse enters patient room. Second primary nurse enters patient's room and places kidney basin, specimen collection tubes, and specimen collection kits on bedside table closest to the patient. Second primary nurse places clean wash basin on bedside table furthest away from the patient and places biohazard bags on bedside table next to wash basin. Primary nurse draws blood per standard nursing process. Second primary nurse assists. For adult collection tubes, fill all tubes to capacity minimum 2 to 4 mLs. For pediatric collection tubes, fill all tubes to capacity. If blood collection is an issue, lavender top tube for cavum must be full. Other specimens must be at least half full. Primary nurse places filled specimen tubes in kidney basin does not place on patient's bed. Primary nurse disposes of sharps in supplied sharps containers in patient room. Primary and second primary nurse immerse gloved hands in Oxivir TB solution, gently rubbing hands together. Second primary nurse picks up one biohazard bag, confirms labeling on bag, and holds bag open to accept specimens from primary nurse. Primary nurse using an Oxivir TB wipe picks up a tube with the wipe and wipes the entire surface of the specimen tube using a new wipe for each tube. Places the tube in the appropriate biohazard bag held open by the second primary nurse. Primary and second primary nurse confirm tube placement using closed loop communication. Place purple lavender and a yellow gold tube into the CADM labeled biohazard bag. Place dark green and purple lavender tube in HSC lab labeled biohazard bag. If applicable, place blood culture collection bottles into another HSC lab labeled biohazard bag. Second primary nurse seals biohazard bag. Arranges tubes flat releases air by rolling bag bottom up before sealing. Seals bags by pulling off and securing adhesive strip. Is careful not to touch gown when rolling up biohazard bag. Second primary nurse takes one Oxivir TB wipe, use one wipe for each bag, and wipes down entire surface of biohazard bag. Second primary nurse places disinfected bag in clean wash basin. Primary nurse and second primary nurse repeat steps until all specimen tubes in appropriate biohazard bags. Primary nurse and second primary nurse immerse gloved hands in Oxivir TB solution, gently rubbing hands together. Primary nurse wipes door handle and door plate with Oxivir TB wipe.
waits one minute, opens door for second primary nurse. Second primary nurse takes disinfected biohazard bags from clean wash basin and exits patient's room. Primary nurse closes patient door. Assistant nurse enters ante room and wipes down counter with Oxivir TB wipe, waiting one minute. Monitor opens ante room door. Assistant nurse obtains canisters from lab staff, does not touch outside of transport box, and places canisters on disinfected counter. Assistant nurse confirms with second primary nurse specimen type to be handed off. Assistant nurse takes the lid off the appropriate canister and places lid on disinfected area. Assistant nurse removes bubble wrap out of the canister. Second primary nurse standing on primary side of the ante room rolls correct biohazard bag and places bag in the middle of the bubble wrap being held by the assistant nurse. Confirms which specimens are being placed in wrap using closed loop communication. Assistant nurse receives biohazard bag and begins to wrap biohazard bag with the bubble wrap, does not touch biohazard bag. Assistant nurse finishes wrapping the bubble wrap around the biohazard bag, places in canister and replaces lid on canister. Assistant nurse immerses gloved hands in Oxivir TB solution, gently rubbing hands together. Repeat steps until all biohazard bags in correct canisters. Assistant nurse and second primary nurse, once all biohazard bags in appropriate canister, immerse gloved hands in Oxivir TB solution, gently rubbing hands together. Assistant nurse proceeds with handoff of canisters to lab staff. 